Hey folks, your OS Reviews. You're watching our video first look and a quick review of the CYHT Fidget Spinner, which sells for under 14 bucks on Amazon. It's pretty low cost. It is a fusion kind of spinner that's made out of both polycarbonate plastic as well as some aluminum and metal accents, but it spins for a pretty reasonable five minutes when I did a bit of testing with it earlier. It's a classic design as far as the um, overall shape and the ergonomics and form factor, but it remains a low-cost option if you're looking for a sturdy, um, a pretty nice spinner as far as uh, being able to play with it for a good amount of time uh, before it will eventually stop. Otherwise, if we compare it uh, in a moment with some of the other spinners, um, I would say that you know it does spin for a little longer than the previous metal one that we checked out on this channel. And as a bit of a refresher, you know, fidget spinners are meant and designed for people who want to maybe meditate, they want to relieve stress in the office or at school. It's also meant as a therapeutic, uh, perhaps, a product to, to use to relieve stress, to concentrate um, if you do have ADHD. And, you know, it's been found to have a lot of different uses, and it is one of the viral new uh, kind of sensations online as well as on YouTube. So uh, the last video you guys seem to appreciate, so we are checking out again one more spinner here. In terms of the overall feel in the hand, uh, it is reasonably lightweight, but it feels well constructed. Obviously it's not as great as more expensive uh, spinners, which can range from $50 to $500, believe it or not, and you can see some of the rougher edges of the plastic in terms of the construction not being 100% uh, um, amazing, but it still works reasonably well. You can see that there are a few holes on the three kind of sides here, which potentially allow you to stick a pencil or something into one of the individual arms and spin it that way um, if you want to play around with it. I tried removing the cap earlier, but it seems very, very stiff. But supposedly, if you remove this, there's going to be, again, again a third a fourth hole here which you can pop into another pencil and spin it around like a top which is a unique way of playing around with this. You can also check out the ball bearings inside which I believe is ceramic on this model as, a, as opposed to steel um, you know, or aluminum which we saw on the previous fidget spinner which this one is a lot cheaper, sells for only three bucks which is um, you know a fraction of, of this one which is fourteen dollars but still very low cost and you can kind of see that in the spin time as well. Um, both of them make this fairly relaxing sound when they're being spun. The plastic one is a little bit more silent, but if you listen closely, you can still hear it in the background, uh, a bit of a white noise, um, again, that adds to that therapeutic effect. And it definitely spins a lot longer. So after a while, you'll see the metal one start to slow down, but the plastic one continues to go on and on. It is a little bit larger, so perhaps it has a bit more momentum, which is the reason why. And of course, with all these spinners, you can Put them onto your hands and kind of play around with it using just one hand um, and they are reasonably safe you know as far as the design is concerned and um, otherwise if you get really good at these you can potentially try out different tricks such as balancing it on, on one hand or maybe spinning it with just one finger um, and things like that again they do create a pretty unique pattern almost mesmerizing and like an illusion in the way that uh, it plays with the um, field of view so you know as it spins around you might be seeing uh, maybe it's not moving at all or moving in the opposite direction. That's just because the motion is blurring and uh, going against kind of the frame rate of either your eyes or the camera. So it is, again, pretty fun to play around with. This one, again, is a lot more quiet, so it's silent. Um, I'm going to try spinning it kind of closer to the camera so you hear. It's almost like a small electric fan, but you can still kind of see your hand in the back. Makes for a pretty interesting pattern just because of the red and the black that they chose for the color scheme here. I believe it does come in a few other colors, but uh, this one is the most popular variant that's being sold. The end caps here are also made out of um, aluminum, so they feel pretty sturdy and nice in the hand. Again, stopping it doesn't really hurt your hand since the corners are nicely rounded, so it's pretty comfortable to play around with. Uh, no real complaints as far as the build quality is concerned. So anyways, I do think that this model is slightly better than the aluminum fidget spinners that we checked out a few weeks back because it spins longer and it seems to just work a bit better in terms of how it looks while it spins. Um, but that being said, you know, construction is a bit more plasticky. However, if you're looking for longer spin time, this one is certainly a better option. It remains pretty faithful to the original spinner's design and it's also fairly low cost. Let's try stacking the spidget fidget spinners just to see how they work if I stack them like tops. That creates a fairly interesting visual effect. If 
Here's the other way around with the aluminum fidget spinner on the bottom and the plastic one on the top. So you can check out more details in the links below and of course comment regarding spinners in general. Do you like them? Do you not? Would you consider trying one out? Um, and of course learn more information in our upcoming article. So thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the CYHT Red $14 Fidget Spinner.